well, that's an easy one, right? Because uh, Luis and I go back a long, long time. You know, Luis Felipe was a um, graduate student uh, together at the same time, except he was at Harvard and I was at MIT. Both of us worked on the Haystack Observatory in those days. And uh, I would say he and I used the telescope more than anybody else at that time. You know, in December, January every year, it's always either his project or my project. And after that, of course, uh, Louis and I shared some graduate students. He sent his graduate students to work with me at Harvard, uh, training a few of them. And then, of course, Susanna is working in theory, which is something that we are very interested in. And she works with Frank Shu, who we work very closely with. And now, you know, we are also have this collaboration uh, in San Pedro de Matier, where we're putting up these three 1.3 meter telescope in Mexico. So this is a developing and a very deep uh, working relationship. So in Taiwan, uh, we think we have a lot to do together with Mexico. And, uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, you know, the uh, Korea has uh, grown a lot you know, in the times that I've been here. It's a very young institute. Uh, they were telling us uh, they began in a house, right? And then slowly grew and then became this very, very large institute now, many researchers. I think it's very uh, interesting because it's uh, has a lot of young people. So the mean age is very low. In some ways, it's very similar to our institute in Taiwan. We have grown rapidly by adding young people and working hard on the latest things. Right? So, as I said during my talk, you know that uh, Luis has this uh, very uh, wonderful sense of uh, adventure and excitement about his own research. Right? You know, I think I, I can see the institute growing around that. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a strong place, you know, so uh, myself, you know, I've had uh, a number of students uh, from here. as my own PhD students working on science with me, and they're all very excellent students. You know, so the last two I had, you know, uh, was uh, Luis Zapata and uh, Roberto Madrid, and they are very brilliant students, you know, equally competitive and as good as any anywhere. So I think that's, the, that's your resource in the end, it's the manpower. So when you train your own students and you recover them for your program, this is how the place will become better and better. It's not really about the equipment or the budget or the projects, it's really all about the people. When you gather the people and train them well, they are your future. Yeah? So we work in the same principle and I think you are too.